Uh, here's the Racer Star BR1407 3500kV motor. This one's from Banggood. And uh, this one is the uh, version 1, the first, the original one that was released a few months ago. Um, so when it was released, I just went ahead and, and ordered one could, because I was interested to see how a low budget motor would, a uh, 1407 motor would, would perform. Uh, at that time, uh, and still, the Brother Hobby 1407. Uh, it's pretty much the the standard that is the motor that everybody wants to uh, uh, to equal or beat. Um, uh, but then uh, this one, uh, then it was taken down uh, from from Banggood because uh, it, it was uh, there was some controversy uh, regarding the way it looked. Racer Star uh, went ahead and they redesigned the bell, uh, the top portion anyways, they they re-released it uh, with a different looking top part right here so it doesn't have it doesn't have these fins, uh, the new the, the new version that's out for sale right now. Uh, so I held on uh, from testing it because I didn't know if it was going to be re-released. Re uh, so what I'm thinking is uh, they they redesigned the bell uh, but the the stator and the magnets and everything else is the same. I, I don't see why they would uh, would have to change those parts. So my assumption is gonna be that uh, the rest of the of the parts are the same. So the performance is gonna be pretty pretty similar. So uh, so then I went ahead and decided to to do the test and. Uh, and keeping in mind that it's not the same that's out for sale right now, but uh, the assumption is that that the rest of the uh, motor is the same. Uh, so it would be, you know, it, it would be like testing the the new version. Um, so here you can see how it compares to the Brother Hobby. Uh, they do look kind of similar, but they're actually not uh, not identical. So you can see the uh, uh, the Racer Star uh, looks much bigger actually compared to it. Uh, the Brother Hobby looks it's a lot smaller. Uh, there's the uh, side by side comparison, and even top uh, you can see it. Uh, this one looks slightly larger diameter just ever ever so larger not not a lot uh, long wise yeah there's a lot of difference and from the bottom as you can see there are some similarities how they did the uh, this portion where the wires come out um, and the fins they kind of try to make it look the same but uh, it's not identical uh, by any means it's it's uh, it's similar so uh, so now let's see what's uh, what's inside. Always like to see what's inside. Uh, the pretty much standard uh, two for a 1407. It's a two millimeter shaft, and it's pressed in, and it's uh, it's uh, retained by a grub screw right there. So I don't know how serviceable this is. I, I don't think I've seen any shafts for sale. Uh, but uh, seems like it would be pretty serviceable if you undo that grub screw and somehow uh, uh, remove the shaft. Uh, you could press it back in and add some uh, some some of that uh, Loctite adhesive. Uh, magnets are pretty chunky. Uh, they're not curved. They're just square magnets, but they are pretty pretty chunky. You can see the the density of the magnets is very close to each other uh, there is some balancing mud there so it looks like they do dynamic balancing of the bell which is good uh, the stator as far as the stator and the windings uh, let me get a closer look at this the stator is pretty much standard uh, nominal size is uh, seven millimeters uh, height just a tiny bit over, uh, just looks like a one, 
one lamination taller so it's probably around 7.2 millimeters and the windings uh, they look uh, they look pretty they look okay for the price uh, range uh, these are 7.99 motors so $7.99 so uh, uh, windings look pretty decent uh, there's no information about uh, what type of magnets uh, they're using we don't know if they're M45, 42, 50, 52 no idea they don't they don't mention it on the on the more on the Banggood uh, product uh, page uh, also they don't they don't say what uh, what thickness the laminations are they kind of seem to be 0.2 millimeters uh, that's pretty common these days also the bearings we don't know what uh, brand bearings they are so no word on dur durability they, they have these motors have been getting uh, pretty good uh, comments on the on the product uh, but uh, uh, that's pretty much all we have to go by and uh, uh, as you can see not uh, not too bad for a eight dollar motor basically uh, so let's see what this motor weighs uh, they're saying 17 grams 17.4 grams uh, so I imagine the different uh, bell this top portion is what uh, has a little bit more material here so it weighs more but it's pretty close to to the other one okay so that was that's the overview of the of this motor uh, BR 1407 uh, 3500 kV uh, now let's see how it does on the thrust stand and we can do some comparisons with the other 1407s Here are the thrust results. Thrust numbers are a little bit on the low side. Uh, the motor doesn't even break uh, 500 uh, grams on these uh, first group of props. And on the Lumineer 3040 by 3, which is a prop that um, all the other 1407 motors, they, they get very close or break the 600 gram mark. Uh, this one's only doing about 525 grams. And as the prop diameter goes larger, uh, yeah, it, we, we're seeing a little bit more thrust, but nothing, you know, nothing to be too excited about. And for these two props, uh, especially the five-inch prop, but also the uh, these three-blade four-inch, uh, the motor was getting pretty pretty warm. So I was kind of kind of concerning because uh, it was pretty actually pretty hot. Uh, so that's something that I didn't see. I haven't seen on the other motor. This one does run a bit hot uh, as the load increases. Yeah, with the 4045, it got uh, kind of warm, but uh, I would imagine that uh, once in once in the air, it's not going to be as warm because uh, uh, it's not going to be pulling this many amps uh, as the prop on loads. So, so the 4045 should be okay if you plan on running the three blade uh, 4045 then uh, I would uh, I would recommend that you go for a quick uh, quick lap and land uh, and check the temps uh, the motor shouldn't be extremely hot so so that's only that's the only thing to keep in mind all right let's uh, let's look at uh, uh, comparing this uh, with the brother hobby which is the you know the gold standard for these motor class
Uh, so comparing the uh, Racer Star against the Brother Hobby, we can see that uh, with the Team Racecraft 3030x4, uh, 30, 30 there's quite a quite a bit of difference, almost 100 grams between these two. The Brother Hobby getting 553, and this one only 467. Uh, although the amps uh, remain low, so that's that's uh, the good thing. It's not pulling more amps than than it needs. So that's pretty good. Uh, it just seems that the motor doesn't have doesn't have enough torque to to spin as fast as the brother hobby. The brother hobby is not quite uh, 3600 kV. I believe it's a little bit less than that. So uh, so that shows that the racer star doesn't doesn't have a, a lot of the same amount of torque from the from the build, uh, from the components, uh, could be the magnets, it could be just the air gap is different. So, or the even the windings, the the wire use. So there's a lot of uh, factors that uh, affect uh, the motor's performance. So looking at the Lumineer, here we see about 75 grams of difference. Brother Hobby is 600 grams at 18 amps. And this one's 525 at 16.4 amps, so about two amps difference. But uh, of course, uh, that that seems pretty normal amp draw here uh, for the Racer Star. So it's not it's not pulling excessive amps. Uh, then we move to the larger props. A prop that's uh, often used with these motors is the 4045. We're seeing uh, about 750 with the Brother Hobby at, at about 22 amps. And on the Racer Star. About 100 grams less, so 638 at about 19 amps. So still the two uh, uh, two amps difference, uh, but uh, about 100 grams difference. So so here we start uh, as the props get larger, uh, then we definitely see the the difference in performance here. Here it's pulling almost the same amps, but uh, you know the the thrust is quite a lot of difference here. It's 100 and what 150 or so here we start to see the the big difference and with the 4045 by 3 prop which is the other popular prop we are seeing about 160 grams difference and amps are again about three uh, two and a half amps difference so yeah with this prop uh, you can see how the brother hobby really pulls away and on the Racer Star, like I said, uh, heat might be a concern, so you gotta be careful with these uh, couple of props. If you run it, just keep an eye on the temps. Alright, so that's the results for this motor. Hope you find this uh, useful, and uh, until the next one.